Hello, I'm Anne Robson. Um, welcome to Jackson Diego Storybook Emporium in Hamlet Court Road. Uh, the owner, Jackie Johnson, has very kindly let me have her premises for launching my second book um, called The Mouse Trip. This is the second book in the Pink Mouse Gang series. Again, it's about mice. They take a trip in the story across France down to the south and they meet a variety of people and they have a variety of adventures. They do this in a VW camper van like this. We all love the VW camper van, don't we? They meet the snake on their travels, a spiteful Siamese cat and a jester and a bad and wicked troll. I've divided the book into four chapters this time because it's longer than the last one so that you can have breaks or just have perhaps one chapter at night to read to your child. Also this time I have done a DVD where I read the story, I talk a little bit, not a lot and I've storyboarded the book in the background um, for children to use independently if they wish. <laughs> well, what inspired me for this book? So many things really. Um, my husband retired and we bought a camper van, but a very big camper van, and we decided to take the camper van down into France. I wanted to go to Berritz, um, and my husband just prevaricated all the way there and all the way back because he didn't want to go that far, I don't think. Um, and so I wrote him a poem um, telling him what he'd done to avoid going to Beeritz, um, which he thought was very amusing. And then the next year we decided to take two months down on the south coast. And um, I decided to illustrate what I'd written, um, pretty much the same as with Pirate Percy, really. I set up a studio um, outside the camper, down on a beach on the south of France. But I, I developed the story for children. Some of the other chapters also um, have been inspired by real life events. The jester, at the time I knew somebody who was actually suffering from depression. And, and so I wrote that in um, because I was knitting a jester from a pattern at the time and I thought, oh, I know, let's have a few verses for the jester and it just came to me. And it seemed to fit quite nicely with some of the things I'd seen during the journey. I've been a knitter since I was eight. My mother taught me to knit. Most of my generation were taught to knit but didn't hang on to it. I just found it enormously comforting um, and therapeutic, really. Um, as soon as I pick up knitting needles, I feel calm. It's just a lovely feeling.